In this video, we take a look at the difference between a client-server network architecture and a peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Client-server is the most common model in networking. In this model, one device, the client, requests services from another device, the server. It neatly separates functions, allowing efficient allocation and use of resources. Your school and most companies will work on a client-server architecture with each student or employee stationed at a client and connecting to a powerful company central server where personal files, software programs can be stored securely. The server does now become a point of failure. If it goes down, much of the network will become inoperable. In a peer-to-peer -peer setup, all terminals or computers have equal status. There is no powerful central server. Each computer in this setup acts as both a client and a server. It simply depends on the circumstances. As well as being quite a cheap architecture to implement, it also lends itself very well to use over the internet. Over the internet, a peer-to-peer -peer setup can allow for files to be easily shared without the need for specialised hardware or a central server. A clear advantage here is if one node goes down on a peer-to-peer -peer network, you will only lose the files on that part of the network. The rest can continue to operate perfectly fine. This has led to peer-to-peer -peer systems being very popular for sharing of music and other files online. This of course has led to its own issues, the least of which is mass piracy of content such as film, software, music. These issues are looked at in more detail in our videos on the legal, ethical and moral issues of technology.